Hey there Zelda fans, welcome back. So I did a previous video showing off how you can get rupees quite easily and fast um, by doing the gambling game which, you know, it's a 1 in 3 chance of winning and <laughs> that cow is really loud. Um, yeah, it's pretty efficient but I found an even better way of getting rupees so um, and it's going to be quicker as you get better with the bow so this requires you to have um, a bunch of arrows um, I've got a whole stockpile and you'll be able to get a bunch because you'll be spending rupees on them so pretty much this guy has a deer hunting gun which it doesn't cost you to um, start the game at all and he also pays you for hunting deer so what you want to do is just kill as many deer as you can and grab their meat so let's just do this real quick not the best display um, it really comes down to if they spot you or not um, there is better ways to do it I don't know if there's a perfect route but you'll probably get used to the mini game as you do it so you want to stockpile a bunch of meat from these guys don't go back to town and keep selling you want to stockpile as much as you want so let's go back to town and he, if you can get um, over five if you can kill five deer at once he'll give you 20 rupees so automatically he's giving you stuff so let's head back to town okay so what you want to do is you want to grab your meat you want to cook five of them at once because if you cook one or two they'll only sell for like 20 or 30 rupees but if you cook a whole five of them you'll see what happens it's also an efficient way to get food in general so you killing two birds with one stone really anyway so head down to the shop There's also bomb arrows here you can buy quite easily. But yeah. yeah. So. Where are they? Okay, so that's it right there. The plus 10 one. See, 210 rupees compared to 30 or 20. Um, I'm think, I think the 20 is from the boar meat, so. You could also try to get boars if you want. I don't know if that's efficient, but... Anyway, only 5 meat to get 210 rupees. Along with him giving you rupees for winning the minigame. So, if you can stockpile a bunch of meat, you're going to get so much money. You can buy as many um, elemental arrows, bomb arrows, or arrows in general. Just anything you want. Without having to worry about rupees. Also paying the fairy, fairy at the fairy fountain, so... Really can't go wrong. Much I feel like it's much more efficient than doing the gambling game because the gambling game is just too much RNG. And this method is a little more fun as well. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.